First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hey guys, my name is Pranav. I'm here at First Capital RA3D. And I'm Lucas Anderson. And I'm Masi. And right now we're going to be talking about our climbing mechanism. So first we're going to start off with the structure of it, of the elevator. As you can see, we're using um, the Andy Mark 2x1x116 by by inch tubing for the posts. Um, and we have chain driven to two Neos on the bottom, one on each side. Um, the Neos are connected with a 40 to 1 gearbox, uh, 40 to 1 reduction in the gearbox, plus an additional 3 to 1 reduction. Um, in the gear, so a total of 120 to 1 reduction. Um, the, this is actually a one stage lift and it gives us about 26 inches of extension all the way up to 71 inches total height. Um, but, um, yeah, we can talk about that. Okay. And then to get some additional extension, we have this flip up hook mechanism. Um, you, right now, it's secured in place by a simple bolt, and as the elevator comes up, the the um, hook can rotate down out of the way of it and then spring into place. You'll see that when we demonstrate our climber. And you might have seen, in, if you're watching the previous videos, we have this other mechanism, which people have dubbed the Skywalker. This is um, could have gone in the place of the hook and allowed us to traverse across the beam to achieve balance points. However, we felt that a hook mechanism would A, be more practical for a 3D build, and B, be a better demonstration for other teams to do the design off of. Although this is also a very effective design and definitely viable for the competition season. And once we're climbed, we need a way for the elevator to stay in place so the climb can count five seconds after match ends. So right down here, we have a pneumatic cylinder going into this hex shaft that will lock up the rotation, allowing it to stay in place while the power is shut off. And now I believe we're going to be demoing the climb. And you can see it's actually locked up right now, if you uh, see the new mag break over here. Um, yeah. So this was a demonstration of our climbing mechanism. Uh, we're going to demo the Skywalker next. Yeah, and we'll be demoing the um, adjustment mechanism next. Plug that in. I guess I'll And can someone quickly explain yeah. what's on this? Yeah. So we have here. a four. We so this system is comprised of four. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just have to get this in order. Comprised of four Colsons on a piece of rotating two by one bar to allow the rest of the robot to hang level. Um, this is on a total of a around a 270 to 1 reduction running off of a 775 and has been proven to carry over 200 pounds of weight across this bar. Alright, so now we're going to do a quick demo. Yeah, and now we're going to do a quick demo by hanging off the bar. So you can see it works pretty well um, in moving. Even, though it's, even when it's swinging slightly, the Colson wheels are still able to track the bar pretty easily. Uh, so this is a very viable option for teams to use um, if they do want to adjust their balancing on the shield generator. So that'll help you be more compatible with other um, alliance partners who might climb, climb on the other side. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our First Capital RA3D sponsors.